All right, we need to talk about Meatball again. Now, Meatball was the woman that was in Philadelphia egging on the looting that was actually going down. She was an agent of chaos. She was live streaming herself because, you know, she has a pretty big uh, following on Instagram and TikTok. She thought it was all a game. She was on her live stream, egging on the people in the liquor store, telling them to throw the liquor out. And Meatball herself actually had a bottle of hen. She had some hen- Hennessy. She didn't pay for that. She did not pay for that. She was all into the looting. She was acting like a criminal. But you know what, man? Everybody deserves legal representation, even Meatball. Meatball is actually out of jail. Now, the last video I put up on Meatball was about her getting arrested. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, that video was actually like two days old. I actually shot that video today, the day after um, the riots, and uh, YouTube demonetized it. So I had to wait two days to actually drop that video. Now, the people watching on Rumble... You guys have already seen it. But still, how could anyone watching Meatball actually claim that the media portraying Meatball is racist? That's exactly what happened, guys. Meatball's lawyer is now saying that the media portrayal of her client is an assault on black and brown people. No, Meatball is being disrespectful to representing black people. Can't speak to brown people because um, I'm not um, Hispanic. Meatball is a disgrace to law-abiding citizens overall. She got charged, I believe, with like uh, seven charges or something like that. Now, I don't believe that Meatball is going to do a day in prison. I highly doubt it. You know, especially as woke as Philadelphia is. She should be. Now, when I made my video, I didn't know how old she was. She's actually 21 years old. She's a woman. She actually can legally buy alcohol. But instead of buying alcohol, oh, let's just steal it. Yeah. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat, right? So here we go on the post millennial lawyer for BLM rider Meatball says reports on her arrest are an all out assault on black and brown people. Even the lawyers in this country are woke. Now. This is not an assault on black and brown people. Meatball was acting like an idiot. How can you as even her lawyer actually defend her behavior? I mean, the only people that don't know Meatball and I don't know Meatball. My only exposure to Meatball is what I saw on her own live stream. That was not doctored. That was Meatball's live stream. She provided that for everyone to see. That's how she actually represented herself let's get into it guys it says here on Saturday Jessica Mann the lawyer representing Dajia Blackwell also known as Meatball claimed that the media criticism of her client client live streaming herself and others looting in Philadelphia was racist in an open letter To the media posted on her Instagram account, Mann wrote, quote, I write this open letter with a profound sense of outrage and frustration over the unjust portrayal of my client, the Gia Blackwell. It sickens me to witness the media's complicity in what can only be described as an all out assault. On black and brown people. 
as their character and actions are mercilessly vilified. I'm vilifying her too. What she did was wrong. It was criminal. But she goes on. We cannot afford to disregard this insidious injustice, she said. Injustice? She got to explain that one to me. Look here, it says Blackwell was um, arrested on charges for disor- disorderly conduct, burglary, criminal tr- trespass, conspiracy, riot, criminal mischief, criminal use of communication uh, facility, and receipt of stolen property on Tuesday after she live streamed footage of people ransacking retail stores to her 200,000 Instagram followers. She's committing all these crimes and 200,000 people got to see it. Yeah. At one point in her viral video, she is heard saying everyone must eat. Everybody 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 must eat. eat. Yes. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. You, You guys get the point right there. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Her lawyer is black. And her lawyer also goes on here. It says man described her client as, quote, a vibrant and charismatic 21 year old African-American female. Who was capitulated into the limelight through her incredible talent for creating hilarious and captivating content on social media. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Was that hilarious? Her live streaming all that looting? Her stealing liquor? Is that hilarious? That was criminal. She added, quote, with her infectious, infectious um, energy and boundless creativity, the Gia has captured the hearts of thousands, leaving a trail of laughter and joy in her wake. Still, this person described above does not garner clits on your websites. So you post her mud shot with tears streaming down her face and her hair um, a mess to satisfy your need to get clits and to sell a uh, salacious story. The statement continued. But the thing is. She was looking like a hot mess out there on the street while she was actually looting, looting and riding, too. Yeah. I mean, this lawyer seems to be perfectly okay with the actions that Meatball actually did. She did. She didn't say that her client shouldn't have actually been doing that. Your client, Miss Man, was acting like a fool, egging on criminals out there in the street. All those. Black and brown people out there riding and looting. Is that supposed to be okay? Just because they're black and brown? I think not. I think not. If that was my kid out there. Boy, that would be hell to pay at home. Home is the problem, guys. Home is definitely the problem. You should not be enabling all this. You should not be screaming racism. This was not racism. If that was a white person out there doing the same thing she was doing. Had nothing to do with race. That person's just a fool. Acting like a criminal out there. Going into an Apple store store, destroying stuff. And she was hitting up store after store after store live streaming. Yeah, she incriminated herself by recording all this. Man, I don't know what they're teaching in law school, man. I don't. I get you're supposed to um, protect your client, but um, playing a race card? Nah. Nah. You lost me with that one. You lost me with that one. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, 
Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.